In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the song Lion by Elevation Worship. So the song, uh, it's in the key of F, I believe. So we're going to be going capo on the third fret and playing chords in the key of D. So the chords we need for this song, we need the D chord. We need the G chord. We need the A chord. We need the B minor chord. And I think we just need one more chord. Um, yeah, so this song, there's a, at least using chords in these, in this key, there's an E sus chord. Um, which we can just play a, we'll just, we'll just play an E minor. Um, so just, um, it's in the chorus, I think the chorus and the post chorus. So I'll kind of walk you through. It's just, it'll be an easier way to play. Um, instead of an E, I think it's an E sus four, which yeah. Anyways, um, so those are the chords we need for this song. Um, I will say, you know, like this, there's really no acoustic in this song. Um, uh, you know, it's so there's, we're going to be kind of freewheeling a little bit here. I'll just kind of give you some, some ideas as to, to maybe what you could do on some of the parts of the song. Um, but there's really no, there's really no acoustic in it. So maybe just, um, yeah, for whatever setting you're going to be playing it in, leading it in, maybe just take these, the chords I'm going to show you, the patterns I'm going to show you, and just kind of use them as a little template to, to kind of build your own um, set list, your own song, how you want to do it, all that good stuff. So, um, the intro, and let's see, so the intro is just going to be B minor to the G. So... So it really, it's it's the same if you're confused on the timing of that intro. Just think of the first verse. God of Jacob, so great I am. King of angels, son of man. So if we, if we were going to just strum it, it would be like this. So it would just be eight down strums on each chord. So um, you know, you could, if you were gonna strum it for the intro in the first verse, I would just like use your thumb. Just cause it's kind of darker, you know, the, the minor um, chord in there. Um, so you wouldn't want to be brash and be like, God of Jacob, great I am. Just kind of go nice and easy if you want to finger pick that a little bit. Great I am. And if you're going to pick it, you know, maybe make sure you, you pick that B string open on that B minor. So instead of, it's too bright. Take your ring finger off. It kind of sounds a little dissonant, a little cool there. God on Jacob, great I am. You can do the same thing with that G. I'm just holding the bass note down. Do, 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 great I am. King of angels, son of man. So now on this verse, we're going to go to the A and then to the G voice of man now for this a i mean i probably wouldn't uh, probably you know you can but i wouldn't get that bright sound in there with that ring finger on there um but it's gonna go voice of many waters song of heaven's throne louder than the thunder make your glory known so you could just do you know just like this like we were doing with that B minor in the G, just take your ring finger off that A. So Q, 
king of angels, son of man, voice of many waters, song of heaven. I don't know if that's the right um, melody there, but but you get it. So really, um, you know, you can finger pick that. If we wanted to just do those basic strums, it's in 4-4 four, four timing. So that would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, king of one, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now we get into the chorus. So for the chorus, uh, again, I'm just going to kind of focus on just these down strums. Um, you can really kind of do some... some different dynamics, however you want to lead it, however you want to play it. Um, but that chorus is going to go, Hail, hail, Lion of Judah, let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah, let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah, let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah, let the lion roar. So that would be that would be your chorus. Um, so let me walk you through just that E minor chord. So it's gonna go uh, the strumming one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hail lion of Judah. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So six down on the B minor, two down on the A, full eight down on the G. Next line, um, six on the B minor, and it goes to the D. I'm just taking my, you know, my, my pointer finger off that B minor, playing the D. You can also do that. It's the same, same chord, just different finger. Uh, so that second line would be six on the B minor, two on the D, four on the G, four on the E minor, or E sus four, whatever you want to play. So for that E, E minor chord, I, I wouldn't play all of the strings. I, I wouldn't play, I would just kind of focus on that bass note and like maybe the top three strings. Uh, but you can feel it out and just, you know, whatever you want to do there. And then that just repeats for the last two lines of the chorus. And then the chorus, um, let's see, it looks like there's a... Post chorus, um, which would just be, yeah, kind of a post chorus instrumental, which would just be that. Um, <laughs> so you'd be, you would be doing. Um, so that post course would be slightly different from the chorus. Man, some of these songs, there's so many parts, so many, so many different pieces. All right, so the, for that post course where it goes roar, we're gonna go B mon. So strumming wise. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Let me start that over. So post chorus. 
One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then that will go back to the next verse. Fortunately, no changes on the next verse. No changes on the next chorus. No changes on the next post-chorus. And then the only, the only thing different we have coming up after that second post-chorus is the instrumental and the bridge. Bridge one and bridge two. And then there's a post bridge. Yeah, so. So the instrumental, or the interlude, whatever you want to call it, going into that bridge one, you're just going to play this the, the chord progression and the chords for the bridge. So it's going to go G, A, E minor, D. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Prepare the way, prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way, prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way, prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way. Prepare the way of the Lord. And then that goes right into the bridge too, which is the same chord progression, same strumming. O oh, valley, be raised up. O oh, mountain, be made low. O oh, valley, be raised up. No mountain, be made low. Post chorus or post bridge. that goes into the next chorus which um, I would say I would probably recommend just playing it exactly how the, the previous chorus was um, yeah you'll be you'll be good if you play it how the previous choruses were and then yeah like there's there's some additional bridges there's some additional things that happen uh, on this song so I don't know I think that would probably give you at least a, a starting point as to how you want to you know format it how you want to um, you know do the song so hopefully that helps um, those are the chords that's the the timing the strumming some little finger picking things you can do in there so um, I, I think the best thing as I usually say is uh, listen to the song play along with the song um, put the capo on there, play along with the song. That way you can kind of feel out what you want to do dynamically for the song. Um, and this songs like these, you know, you're going to need to like take some notes. You're going to need to, you know, write down how many down strums on each chord and like the different chord changes. Cause there's a lot of different parts and pieces to some of these songs. So I'll have the chord charts for this, for this song on my Patreon page. And I'll link that in the description if you, if you want to print them off. If you want to download them, uh, that, that might help a little bit. So I'll link that down in the description. And yeah, let me know if you have questions. I'll do the best I can to kind of walk you through this. But maybe we'll just wait for a tutorial from Elevation. And they can do a full-blown walkthrough of it um, for us. So anyways, love y'all. See you soon.